gunshots coming out of the apartment. I gotta get an ambulance. Glendale 911, what is the emergency? Hello? This is 911, do you have an emergency? We have gunshots coming out of the apartment, 225, 400 Paula. So it was a typical morning. We probably were handling just non-emergency calls, cold report calls, parking complaints that had come in. Not uh, anything major that I can recall happened that day, up until that point. Do you know who's in there? Yeah. Uh, what's this name? George. Uh, How many did you hear? About 20. They're going through his wall. After that, all the other calls started coming in. Glendale 911, what is your emergency? Uh, yeah, shots being fired. Okay. At 400 Paula Avenue. You know, when the real deal goes down and the, and, the, and the lines light up, the phone calls come in. You got to take every phone call, put everybody on hold, and you got to filter out the emergency calls from the non emergency calls those who want information and those who have information. He's still shooting. Yeah, yeah. Are they coming out of the wall? Yes, they are. Part of our training as a dispatcher, we're trained um, to listen to what gunshots sound like over the phone and over the microphone. So we knew it was the real deal. Communications can hear the shots over the phone. I'm thinking, OK, this is something a little out of you know, the norm. I went ahead and automatically sent units there. Unit 1612 to assess 400 Paula, number 225, report of hearing 20 shots from the location. 400 Paula, number 225, 16, you're authorized cut through. A motor officer happened to be in that area, and he actually went on scene first. She started heading that way. I didn't turn on my lights or sirens. He's still shooting. OK, has he hit anybody? No, not yet. OK. Yeah. Got to be a little bit scary. We're starting to wonder if we had a sniper somewhere, um, what exactly we had. We just really didn't know other than somebody was shooting from an apartment, a second story apartment at that location. I pulled up into the driveway, got off my motorcycle, and walked into the pool area which would give me a view of the courtyard and the building that they were uh, talking about. As I uh, peered out from behind the pool building, I looked up and could see the apartment, which had bullet holes all through the stucco on both sides of the door. And then I looked down and saw two females that were in front of a parked vehicle in the front bumper, um, hugging each other, laying down in front of the bumper. I've got two people that are down in the parking lot hiding behind cars. I looked at the females and uh, they looked at me, and you could, you could see the, the fear in their eyes. There was no shooting at this time. I looked up. I didn't see any movement uh, coming from inside that apartment where the holes were. So I kind of waved the females over to me to get them into the pool area for safety. Um, they ran to me, and just as they got to me, um, gunshots rang out. So I just kind of pushed the ladies into the pool yard, and I, I ran in with them. <laughs> All units be advised. Shots are being fired. I drew my weapon. Yeah, I made sure the ladies were safe and put out that shots were being fired. I would pe kind of peer around the tree to try to, uh, to see if I could see him or if I could get a shot off at him. Um, but every time I would stick my head out, he would shoot and the tree would just, be, he'd start shooting the tree or the building next to me. Um, so I just, I went back in. I, I didn't have a long gun at the time, long gun being a rifle. Um, I didn't think, feel my handgun was gonna be effective. I'm gonna need units to come up the very uh, south driveway toward the pool and we can set up here to come get these people out. The first units that arrived, I directed them to a car in the courtyard and told them where the apartment building was. The shooting had stopped, um, so they positioned themselves behind that car, at which time uh, he began shooting again rapidly. 17, you shoot in our direction. Well, we're getting multiple shots. I believed at the time was uh, from a semi-automatic, because it was just uh, round after round after round being fired at us. 18, we have shots fired. And I then saw Agent Richardson and Officer Lassie were now pinned down behind that car, and he was directing his gunfire towards that car. 26, we have two officers that are pinned down behind a car with shots being fired in their direction. The next unit that got there, he had a long gun. I then advised the units we were, were going to lay down cover fire. We had to get those two officers out of the courtyard. I was able to get Richardson and Lassie um, out into the back into the pool area. We've got the officers out of the courtyard now. Six, 